Hard Tricks Watch. This is SLP. Now by now, you would have seen the videos, seen the articles surrounding the illegal land sale that took place right, in St. Catherine. Right? You have that about Bernard Lodge and Clifton and them places. Eh? People get said land, people start building house on it. Illegal transaction, government go in and demolish it. Then we see articles come out, clansmen responsible for selling land. The last time I check, clansmen don't run a real estate company. It's all them players sell land. And which faction in a clansman? You see, as usual, right, they're very vague. But you know, it's over here, so, right? We break it down and give them you know, the actual details what go on in the streets. It's not just clansmen. It's one faction in a clansman. By now, you should know them. You have Tesha faction. You have Blackman faction. You have Bedbugs, right, which is Hezzy right, and Smoky faction. You have Termite faction. And you also have the most elusive of them all. Richie faction. Who remember Richie? Not too long ago, him and Tesha were on the verge of launching all out gang war against each other. Did a couple videos, mentioned him by name. He was very surprised. Matter of fact, he went as far as to say he was going to make me disappear come load up in thing. But I think it was at the end of the Nevada had his video. Or right, one of them videos where I mentioned right, that Richie has vowed to make sure say. But this up here after the map, right? In claim say, come go load up him thing, him operation them and him plan them get mash up. So after a while, Richie disappeared. Is the most bulby like of them all. What do I mean by that? Even people who did inner clans don't know bulby like that and even interact with him. There are 87s who used to quote unquote work for Bulby and them never yet stand up in front of Bulby or uh, hearing voice say nothing to them at all. That's exactly how Richie operated. Theme faction, not for the people who work on him, who work with him, only hear about this Richie person, what he's known. That's why I say he's almost like some kind of phantom, right? like a dopey, a ghost. People know send it, but they must not see him and they hear from him. People even afraid to call him name. Very free, actually. Richie's faction is extremely powerful. But they place them with them base, right? Them control it completely. So there's no need for a gang war. Right? You see, bed bugs them, I try to wipe out man to take over certain communities. So them constantly I kill man and I try to kill witness and I go through all kind of things. Richie them dominate for them quote unquote turf because in a for them mind, I feel them turf. And as you can see, them even sell pieces of quote unquote film turf. It look like say him take up real estate. Because Richie is the one who orchestrated the land sale them to the people them in this Bernard Lodge fiasco. You hear people say ties to clansman gang, this done, all kind of vague talking a Richie. Right. Yes, the same Richie. Maybe if then they deal with him how one time I first start talking about him, this would not happen. But as usual, you know them things they got ready. Now the picture I see on the thumbnail, that's a picture of a young Richie. He not look nothing like that now. He's obviously much older now and he put on a whole heap of weight. Right? Almost look completely different. Maybe all around him high region. You see Richie is a relic of the Bulby and Dave Clans era. That's why I'm operate like them. Right? I'll sell him the them thing. They don't like spotlight, they don't like meet and talk to no other people. They have only a few trusted individuals in the gang. We can report to them and then send back message out. No, you hear me just mention Dave, as in Dave Clans. Him, I'm gonna need him on the video. But I don't have the picture of him, and you know, say, the video them just don't have the same effect when there's no image or video attached. But Dave Clans, right, he played a pivotal role in this acidic and destructive transman story. 
and it was actually theme song that dead with bad from if you remember when they told him disappeared never to be seen again so richie is considered an original clansman he was rated highly by boldby so highly that he was able to recommend his young nephew at the time we let's just say get fast tracked through the clansman system who is this young nephew tesha miller richie is tesha's uncle you might be thinking, well, on, but you say Richie and Tesha are like a war. Yes, they are currently enemies. Right? In that badness game, yeah? right? brother war, brother, uncle war, nephew, right? mother war, son, other go. So right now, they are enemies. But originally, Richie was the one who used theme clout right? and theme connection to help fast track Tesha Miller's quote unquote career in a clansman. So because of this Richie link, why Tesha got the nod over certain people, right, who were even more senior than him, right, when it was time a clansman get a new leader. You see the same Dave clans when we talked about before, he had a more legitimate claim, right, taking over clansman after Bulby did. But as I say, if we ever get around to doing theme video, they'll go hear what happened to him. Right, but let's just say, right, Richie, Tesha had a plan. Certain people couldn't stick around if Tesha was supposed to be the dad. And after the road get clear, after the people who could after the people who could potentially stop Tesha from taking over were no longer right on the scene, it was a straightforward takeover. But Richie helped put Tesha in a power. Richie is one of the reasons why Tesha reached MD in her clans. This is why enough people always wonder how oh, Tesha end up becoming the dad. Right. Because there are other people with you know more notorious reputation, right? Them they run longer than Tesha and them thing there. But Richie was a key individual in all of this. And, but even when Tesha was the dan to Tansman, right, before even the split, Richie was acting as the, I guess you could say the de facto banker for the gang. Most of the money used to pass to Richie and, and Richie was already looked at as a era leader because I may say not only was he Tesha's uncle, but he might come from the Bolby days and people know about his reputation. So when it was time for Richie end up becoming own done now, right, as in a rival for Tesha, theme transition wasn't as bloody as black man. Right, because enough of the people them, enough of the 87 them, they already look upon Richie as them done. Right. Enough of them they already look upon Richie as an old time original clansman, but black man was not considered a done. So, him did have to wipe out anybody who never want to accept him. Anybody who never want to fall in line and accept him as not done, him decides him to get rid of them. So fast forward to present day. They have some land right, that are owned by a government owned right, sugar company. People start get land sell to them. Right? Which is sell people them land. Tell them say, right, them can have a plot of land here. They can be lost money. People find out, say, see like one. People actually start contact the authorities. Then I go play a clip, and this is coming from the prime minister himself. This is coming from Umbre. Right. When I go hear what him say, this is coming from Nationwide. Check this out. Let me note that it was brought to my attention that SCJ staff were fearful of acting, as there were reports of organized criminal activity in the area and a possible connection to the Klansman gang in the area. On July 20, the Sugar Company of Jamaica wrote to me explaining that the matter was out of control and could not be dealt with safely at the local level. Following that, the matter was brought to the attention of the National Security Council. Can you imagine our state being afraid to act? in the face of a gang that I had to bring the matter to the National Security Council. So you tell me say a state owned company. People who work for the state, the state itself, you say a gang or do things like this. Right? And people afraid to act. Why do you think me say weak and indecisive? Or a gang right, I go make a state owned company afraid 
Right. We stopped him. What I wonder if one realize I'll go on. I wonder because them telling us said don't worry, the state will protect you. Well apparently even the state itself afraid of Klansman. Even people who work for the state. Right. Employees of the state who can make a phone call, right? Pass of the chain of command to them leaders. Even them free the gangs. So what is the regular citizen who don't work in a state owned company? Who can make a call to them boss? Who can then call right, the politician? What them people are supposed to do? May I start to wonder if a gang is on the country because instead it was allowed to continue to the point that people start bill. People start bill and almost done bill and at them time they they are going to move in and act. When you met Richie, don't collect your money. Clansman, don't collect their money. How much millions? And let me just ask this question. Who out there thinks that Richie pulled this off by himself? Who think Richie did this without the help of local officials, politicians, lawyers, etc.? This is a land scam. Right. You think Richie prepared all the documents them by himself? If you are going to sell man land, you have to go get fake title and fake this and fake signature. You have to get somebody sign off on this. Richie can't do this by himself. I mean, let's be realistic. Obviously, Richie is not on my Christmas card list. And I'm not on his. But you can't convince Mr. Richie pull this off by himself. If you sell man fake land, right, you have to go through a whole heap, a whole heap of a legit land sale requires how much paperwork and how much this and how much that and you have to get that one you sign and that one you look on this and that. So how right, land and sell how Richie orchestrate this without the help of people who have quote unquote legit jobs? Nobody has the system to help Richie. He do it all by himself. Is this what you're trying to convince me? Well, if you believe that, let me for a unicorn. one 800 unicorn. No discounts. Premium unicorn myself. Me not give no discount because if you believe this, if you think Richie, right, do this without your favorite officials helping your favorite, right, lawyer helping your favorite, right, man the officer and the officer help, then you are the type of person that would buy a unicorn. Even though criminals like Richie and Clint Martin Knight understand say people with Legit jobs and big titles in I too. Land as something we must involve people who can sign up on certain things. Because in Jamaica, you need certain things to get notarized and all the certain people can do that. Right? You need lawyers to do this and do that. A big scam. Richie can do this by himself. But as usual, them now look on the network. So the criminal might dead and gone. The criminal might go to jail, then just replace him with the next criminal, and the officials them, right, the politicians and the lawyers them, just work with a new criminal. Yeah. Mr. Politicians, you know the media. A time like this, you would think they would at least agree, say, you know what? This is the final straw. The final straw should have broke a long time, but make them say, you know what? This is the final straw. PNP and JLP, they're going to unite and get rid of clans once and for all. Get rid of the whole of them gang there. Right. We operate in the Spanish stone space, St. Catherine space. Get rid of one other. Get rid of all with the pest them. Right. This is too far. Selling people fake land, make them build upon it, then they will have to get it down. That's too far. But even that them can't do. Because these vultures only see an opportunity to score political points. So now, they might argue and a squabble over, no man, we care, them not care. No, I lie, we care more. But I know why they crush them. Or oh, they must crush them, Pitney. Clansman is PNP Pitney. One other is JLP Pitney. Nobody not crush them, Pitney. And when that Pitney misbehave, all the parents them do is turn up and either act dumb, like women know the Pitney do, or they come up with all kind of excuse and justifications for the behavior of them, Pitney. Them. It's just that when one of the gang do something, the next party suddenly have a voice and then vice versa. For example, when one other lab up the place, 
Naughty said here all kind of people on the PMP side I said, Oh come on, name and shame them. Call them out, call them out. Um no she say, Well no, can't man pull this off. When you say the man on the PMP side, now mention that one of trans man. Them not talk direct. The same people them who say, call one other name, now them can't call trans name. When time you talk me in a JLP era, the JLP politician them, right, act dumb. When you know you talk about them, they're about one other. Now you is me about one other. Right. Remember? Did you be done it? So when you see how them operate, the more things change, the more them still the same. So, I'm going to see if come out of this. I'm going to see if anything happen to Richie because this is an outlandish scam. Even by clansman standard, this is outlandish. This right here, so, hit the cake. I'm going to see if anything happen to Richie. I'm going to see if, as usual, they met the people who wear the suit and tie, the nice white shirt, well ironed. I'm going to see if they met them get away. Because they're a part of this. Richie can't pull this out by himself. The mafia have help. Who help him? Shambles. A complete farce. From start to finish. Anyway, Patreon squad. You open yourself. PIA. You don't know. No life. Voter squad. Stay circling. Bless.